The next stop on our journey was the township of Catherine, about three and a half hours down the road. This town of around 6,000 people is known for its mining industry, and in particular, gold mining. Nipmaluk National Park is where we decided to set up camp for the night. After Terry's efforts last night, I couldn't be outdone. So I rustled up some homemade garlic bread with my specialty penne carbonara. And all this little guy wanted was his own apron to become the camp kitchen apprentice. I have to admit, it wasn't bad. And the fun around the campfire was just fantastic. Next morning, I caught up with one of the park's management team, Corin, who explained. Corin, what a beautiful little park situated right in the middle of the outback. It must be very popular. It is. We get tens of thousands of visitors here every year. Uh, open all year round, but obviously in the cooler winter months, it's great. It's full of people having an awesome time. And what sort of people do you get coming to enjoy the park? All sorts, really. Um, local travellers, um, Ma and Pa in the camper van, in the tents. Lots of families, fantastic for families. Backpackers uh, and everything up to our beautiful chalets accommodate families perfectly. The local custodians are the Jowan people and the surrounding landscape has a great ceremonial significance. In Jowan, Nipmaluk means place of the cicada dreaming. We've got some great little indigenous um, tours that you can do, basket weaving, didgeridoo playing, uh, cooking kangaroo tail under the ground, some really authentic cultural experiences well, you can share. My city boy instincts were absolutely aroused and there are plenty of activities to keep everyone entertained. Corin, you found me here at the new cicada lodge here in the park. Tell me a little bit about this place. It is magic. It's beautiful. This is our new luxury facility. Facility. Yes. 18 beautiful lodge rooms set right on the edge of the gorge here, as mm. you can see. People get to enjoy the beautiful gorge and every, all the experiences we have to offer. Come back, relax, glass of champagne, yes. cocktails, canapes by the pool, and, um, yeah, it's just a beautiful place to be. We are in the middle of the National Park here, but you're getting a five-star experience. Absolutely. Now, if this isn't for everyone, like Rick the Outback Adventurer. The park has a lot of other types of accommodation, doesn't it? Yes, everything from free camping, powered camping. We've got a beautiful little uh, area with permanent tents, which is great for kids and school groups, and our beautiful chalets, which can sleep up to five. So fantastic for families, fully self-catered. Throw the kids in a canoe, they can ex explore the gorge. If you're staying at Cicada Lodge, we've got some wonderful helicopter experiences up to remote swim sites, waterfalls, ancient rock art sites. So everything for all warps of life and all budgets. Mm.